The Forsyth Art Club has been working hard developing a program to bring some fun and color to our school. The school beautification program allows the different departments of the school to commission murals and classroom paintings from the art club. To fund this new venture, the art club will be hosting a paint party and auction called One Fine Night. All proceeds would go to the providing of materials necessary for painting murals. However, they didn't want to just auction off artwork and goodie bags from the talented art club students, so they decided to ask some guests to come in and compete in the artwork challenge, where their pieces could be auctioned off as well. Four administrators were chosen to represent their departments in the True Artist Challenge. Given no information, no preparations, and no advice, the competitors will face off and create the best artwork they can to fulfill the challenge. Then, their pieces will be sent off to an auction of one fine night. The person whose piece raises the most money will be considered the true artist of Forsyth schools and collect a win for their department. It's a daunting challenge with no real clues given for what they should be doing. But for some reason, they all blindly agreed. What is your name and title at Forsyth? Okay, my name is Liz Turner. I'm the elementary principal. Sandra Goss, middle school principal. Philip Guy, I'm the high school principal. My name is Jeff Mingus. I'm the superintendent here at Forsyth Schools. How many years of experience do you have teaching or at the school? Oh, 27. Oh, at the school? Mm -hmm. Let's see, I think 16. This is my 24th year, top fourth grade um, counselor, assistant principal, and then principal. I taught for six years and I've been um, a principal for six years and I've been in central office for 16. I think I taught high school science for 16 years, 2000, November 2000, I started mid-year so it makes it a little tricky to count. Uh, so if this is 2024, about 23, 24 years because I took a year off in there too. How much experience do you have with art? Not much at all. Zero. <laughs> uh, I'm not an artist. <laughs> Other than just your art classes I had in elementary school, that's it. Z zero. Less than zero if that's possible. No artistic ability. <laughs> well, I had art in high school, I remember. And I took an art appreciation class in college. But other than that, not, not too artistic. What do you think about it? Uh, you know, I'm a little bit scared to guess. I don't know. I, I, I think it's going to be messy because we had to wear old clothes, but I'm going to give it my best. Um, I'm not for sure. Maybe something with clay or paint. I have a feeling it's going to be really messy and involve black paint. No clue. I assume painting, sculpting, Let's do this. <laughs> You may only watch the video one time through. You may only pause the video up to 10 times by saying pause out loud. You may not reverse the video whatsoever and only have what paint is on the palette. You have 30 minutes to complete this challenge. Your time starts now. What they don't know is that the video will be played at twice the normal speed. Best of luck. Oh, I see why there may be a mess now. <laughs> I need more hands. Can I have assistance? You guys don't have blue. Oh, 
the heck, Bob? Did he use the same brush? I can say pause, right? Pause, I don't know what Bob's doing. It's out of control. Oh, actually, that's not looking too shabby. This actually looks a little better than Bob's. I used to watch Bob Ross as a kid all the time. And I never could paint, but I watched it. I should have taken Mrs. Redding's Bob Ross painting class in the summer school. I might have learned how to do this. Oh man. Can we play it slower? It's nice. Yep. It's wrong. Okay. Go, please. No, not anybody. Oh boy. Is that my fourth pause? Third? Okay. Is it okay if I talk or am I supposed to be quiet? Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not simple. <laughs> Somehow that tree got built. I don't know. Tree, this, and this. Somehow I don't think I should have done that. Where did that tree come from? I'm getting a little better feel for which brush to use and maybe to how to put the paint together, but I don't know that my skill is getting any better. Sometimes you try something late in life, you figure out, you know what, maybe I would have been good at this for a long time, but sometimes you try something late in life and you realize, maybe I was never born to be good at this. <laughs> They're not happy trees. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't want to do another tree. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and play it. This is good, actually. This, I think this turned out pretty good. I just feel like my paint palette's a mess here. Hey, that's a... One minute. I need more blue. <laughs> oh, that's it. How much time do I have left? Eight minutes. Okay, I think anything else I do is going to create more damage. So I'm going to pause and we'll stop right there. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's different fresh. Oh no, that was wet.
Well, I think since all I've read is left, I think I'm done. <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. You ready to see this masterpiece? You still have 14 minutes. Oh, I don't need it. <laughs> Me and Bob, we work pretty fast. So how was the experience? The experience was really good. I think Bob is an excellent teacher. Um, it was challenging. It was really fun. Um, I enjoyed it way more than I expected, but it was super challenging. If you did it again, is there anything you would change about your approach? If I did it again, I would use a, I'd pay more attention to the type of paintbrush he used and probably use the smaller paintbrush on the trees. Absolutely. I would not use as much paint as I did. I went through it way too quick um, and probably not as much water on the paint brushes as well. <laughs> oh gosh. Everything? <laughs> I don't know. And then I'd also pay more attention to how we mix the colors together because my color schemes were not matching his. How well do you think you're going to do in the auction? Well, knowing my competitors, um, I think I got a shot. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Probably not very good. It depends um, on the eye of the bidder. Not very well unless people just have pity votes. <laughs> In the auction, um, my painting will definitely raise the most money. If you want to see how their canvases ended up, you can attend one fine night on April 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the cafeteria, where we'll auction off their paintings and crown the true artist. You can sign up through our Facebook page at Forsyth Art Club. Admission is $5, which includes the paint party and auction entry. There will be refreshments and other ways to help support the school beautification program. So, come out and support the art club and help determine which administrator is the true artist of Forsyth Schools. If you can't make it to the auction, we will have another video posted soon after the auction, revealing the results.